Warm welcome to this topic, Environmental Impact Assessment. Environmental Impact Assessment. It is nothing but systematic identification and evaluation of the potential impacts of proposed projects, plans, program, or legislative action of the physical, chemical, biological, economic, cultural, and socio-economic components of the total environment. So this environmental impact assessment is done for the developmental projects, whether that developmental project will affect environment or not. So the main aim of E and A is to predict whether any developmental project will have an impact on the environment. So that, that is what it is mentioned. The primary purpose of EIA process is called NEPA process, that is National Environmental Policy Act. So this encourages the consideration of the environment in planning and decision making. So before we are planning for a developmental project, we have to keep in consideration the environment also. So the developmental project, it must be environment friendly. And this EIA is a planning tool which helps planners in predicting future impacts of different development activities. So this gives information about the adverse environment effects, predicts the overall risk arising from any activity. And it helps in identifying areas where risks can possibly be reduced. So environment, it is composed of biotic and abiotic components. And we have a dynamic equilibrium between these biotic and abiotic components. When we are undertaking a project, this will tend to dis dis disturb these components. Okay, so to maintain the quality of environment, it is essential that perspective impacts of the project on national environment are studied on time and remedial measures can be taken to promote the sustainable and holistic development of the project. And this is done with the help of EIA. For example, when we take forest ecosystem, so this is a complete ecosystem which gives food, shelter, a variety of species. It provides firewood, resins, timber, medicinal herbs, etc. So as a whole, it gives so many resources to survival of human life. So, forests are considered as our lifeline. So, whenever a project is undertaken which demands clearing of the forest, like construction of do road or a dam, then EIA helps to assess the impact of that activity on this lifeline. So when a developmental project is being proposed to construct a dam or a road which disturbs forest ecosystem means EIA will help to assess how much impact it will be there on the forest ecosystem. And it will also suggest alternate project sites and alternate process technologies which will minimize the impact of the development activity on the ecosystem. Goals of environmental impact assessment. So the main aim of EIA or environmental impact assessment is resource conservation, waste minimization, recovery of byproduct, efficient use of equipment, then sustainable development. So if resource is being cons conserved, waste generation is minimized. And if we are recovering byproduct and we are efficiently using the equipment means that development, obviously it will be sustainable one. So how this environmental impact assessment will be done? So the main steps in AIA are screening, scoping, prediction and mitigation, management and monitoring, then finally auditing. Screening. This results in categorization of the project. And from that, a decision is made whether full AAA is required or not. Okay, so screening will decide whether the developmental project requires EAA or not. Scoping. Next one is scoping. Scoping is the process of determining which are the most critical issues to study and which will involve in community participation to some degree. So the scoping will discuss what are the critical issues which must be under, which must be considered. 
and which will involve community participation. Okay, and it is at this early stage that EAA can most strongly influence the outline proposal. Then detailed prediction and mitigation studies follow scoping and are carried out in parallel with feasibility studies. The main output report, which is called as environmental impact statement, it contains a detailed plan for managing and monitoring environmental impacts both during and after implementing the developmental project. So finally, an audit of EAA process will be carried out. It may be after some time implementing the developmental project and this audit it will give you a useful feedback and the learning function. So this diagram will show how EAA process will be carried out for project screening, whether EAA is needed or not, then scoping. So what are all the critical issues we have to consider? Then description of the project or development action. Then description of the environment where the developmental project is being carried out. Then identification of the key impacts. Then we have to predict the impact. Then evaluation and assessment of the significance of impacts. Then next identifying mitigating measures. Okay, then an environmental impact statement it will be made ready. Presentation of the findings in EAS will be given as an environmental impact statement and it will be reviewed and decision will be made. Limitations. So what all the limitations we have in this EAA process means more research and development of improved methodologies is required. So still we need improved methodologies to carry out EAA. And this EAA reports are too academic, bureaucratic and lengthy. So we have so many data and it is very lengthy and bureaucratic. And in actual practice, EAA ends immediately after project clearance, no follow up action is taken. Actually, EAA will have to consider uh, after implementation of the project also. So how it is being uh, environment friendly, all these measures, it should be considered after implementing the project also, but AIA it ends immediately after project clearance. This is one of the main disadvantage in case of AIA. And it does not incorporate the strategies of preventing environmental intervention. So the issue of resource conservation, waste minimization, byproduct recovery, improvement in efficiency, need to be pursued as explicit goal in AI. So how this EAA is playing a role in sustainable development? So it is possible to have development without destroying the environment. But what does that mean? It requires a gradual shift from uncontrolled exploitation to efficient management of natural resources. So to ensure sustainable development, depletion of resources, renewable resources should not take place at a rate faster than the rate of generation. So resource conservation, it will be in the limit so that it should not exceed their rate of generation. So only those technological developments with minimum environmental hazard should be adopted in order to sustain the environment for future generations.